Hey guys, Mars Engine here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today we got the release of Stage 75 of Super Battle Road. Kind of crazy to think that it's uh, been going on for quite so long. But this is the Turtle School only stage. So I thought we'd try out some units that we haven't really used for a while. Like this Int uh, Tree of Might Goku. Uh, mine is only 55%. But obviously he is a unit that is very good against... Um, multiple enemies right with the 18 key aoe we have roshi who not only is a turtle school uh, support unit but if you're running turtle school allies he has a revive which can be super good and then of course when it comes to super battle road um he can stun on his 12 key super or seal on his 18 key super which is pretty good and of course we have the boy krillin um, he can get the AoE and potentially get stuns as well. We have the two Carnival Gokus, well, technically three, right? Because we have the two AGL ones and the Tech one, who can serve as our defensive units for slot one. Right. And then everybody else kind of here, either for the AoEs or their utility. The STR Carnival Goku, of course, having the... Um, defensive support as well as the build up we're probably never going to get him to actually get super built up and then see like you know the um active skill or the scout or anything like that but that's fine so let's see we want to do this um we want to not get an 18 key super with krillin let me just double check i'm forgetting because it hasn't been a while i haven't used him in the world tournament for a while yeah it is only his 12 key i thought so but always good to double check um so we'll do that and then we'll just get you to target you. Unfortunately, it's kind of all down to RNG because we don't know. Krillin could stun everybody except one. And then that's the one we would want to try and take out with Carnival Goku. But unfortunately, <laughs> good old Tech Goku needs to get that one hit to get a big defensive buff. So, of course, the first hit we take off the turn is the super. Always the worst case scenario with him, but it is what it is. Fortunately, normal Super Battle Road, not as uh, tuned up as uh, Extreme Super Battle Road. So shout out to everyone who is attempting the No Items Run for Saviour's Extreme Super Battle Road. We have had a couple of attempts on it on the stream earlier uh, this morning. Um, I am going to do, obviously, more attempts to actually get the, uh, the No Items Run done. But yes, it is certainly a very difficult one. Saviour's not a great category and uh, you uh, get hit pretty hard that, that run is pretty much going to be uh, pray that you don't get super attacked and then maybe you can come through but other than that it's going to be very very tricky but didn't realize the animations were still on here but we get agl kai goku he's going to be very good defensively here for us at the start as well um, he does have the ability to survive ko attacks and give us a bit of healing which can be very good so I think we'll... Let me make sure I turn these off because we don't want to see those every single fight here. So we'll get some stacks for you here. Then you... I mean, you're already stunned, actually. So we might as well go for you. And then just get Goku to finish off... Uh, is it Ranfan over here? So this works out quite nicely. Goku super attacking first. Uh, puts him in a pretty good position here. I mean, he has guard in the early turns anyway. Uh, we can do a bit of damage here and then yeah Ro roshi not on the team for damage right that's the uh that's pretty clear that that is uh it's not his role here on the team he's here to do that because if we can keep locking down enemies with stuns throughout the course of the run it of course makes things significantly easier uh, when it comes to super battle road uh abilities like stunning sealing attack lowering still super super useful whereas of course many events in the uh Many of the more difficult events, I guess we should say, in the um, in the terms of like the meta, do not allow those abilities anymore. We're starting to see more of it come back. Like some of the difficult events from the anniversary actually have the uh, ability to like seal um, Goku. What are the chances? Tech Goku getting supered again straight away in slot one. Um, but yeah, some of the anniversary events having the ability to attack lower early phases like you can seal against some of like the minions in like the golden freezer red zone and stuff like that um but yeah like status effects not as uh, powerful really anywhere else in the game as they are in super battle road uh, they can mean the huge difference between winning and losing in sort of any of these runs really so yeah we'll see how we go here we got a couple of the old school db saga world tournament characters here now um we can use the active skill for goku straight away which is pretty good um, I probably don't want to keep Roshi on rotation, really, do I? As good as that revival could be, probably don't really need him. I'm going to go for the Spirit Bomb on uh, King Chapa here. 
Yeah, nice bit of damage. That will allow him to then finish him off. Because I just want to make sure that STR Carnival Goku doesn't get super attacked by him. Um, so we should be able to do that. Drop the red ones down here. And then go for you. And then let's go for... Let's go for getting the stun on... Um, I've forgotten his name now. King Chapa's uh, son. But yeah, we'll go for the stun on him. Yeah, Spirit Bomb, uh, AGL Goku should take out King Chapa here. Yeah, we get the crit, so GG. Got type advantage over you, so we didn't really take any damage in slot one. Not that we would anyway, right again, the guard, like this Goku, super, super good for slot one. I mean, this is this stage, we're using a full LR team, and we're using the Carnival LR AGL Goku. He's been back a couple of times on Global. He's a solid unit. If you don't have him, though, of course, the key thing with Turtle School is that pretty much every Goku is on Turtle School. So you can just run a Goku team, right? Any sort of build of, like, Super Saiyans, Goku family, like, any sort of thing like that is going to work quite nicely um, on this setup, right? So... Shame we don't get to utilize uh, you. Maybe I will keep you around, actually, just for fun. I mean, we're using him specifically because we can actually get AoEs in this uh, event and have them be useful. So I suppose we probably should take as much advantage of it as possible, right? So... 9 million. I mean, mine is only 55%. He is level 10 links, but... I mean, Tree of Might Goku, certainly a very underwhelming release for the most part, but... You know, we got a chance to utilize him a little bit here for Super Battle Road, use those AoEs. So, might as well. <laughs> and then you're going to finish off uh, you. Alright. Is it Panput is his name? I think it is, actually. I can't remember. I remember back when he was one of the bad guys in... Uh, was it Realm of God Super Battle Road, where the first one you fight a bunch of the... Uh, it's all like Earthlings. I actually can't remember. But... Hmm... Uh, I probably don't want you eating a bunch of hits from... I don't want the STR one eating a bunch of hits from TN. So let's do that. Uh, we don't want the 18 key super for you. So we'll do that. And then just go for Chaozu here. So we're looking pretty good at the start here. Goku going to get some hits in, and he's not. the thing is with the AGL Goku is he's probably never going to get hit enough to get any of the important stacks. Because once he gets hit enough times, he gets a defense buff. And then when he gets hit, is it like 10 times he gets an attack buff? But we're probably never going to see him take that many attacks in uh, a Super Battle Road stage. So, And hopefully Krillin can just come through clutch here with the stuns, and then we basically just have it on lockdown if we get some good stuns here. Alright, we stunned you. Oh, we only stunned the turtle hermit, and then we didn't get an additional. Nice. Okay. Never mind. We get the additional from, I believe it's the hidden potential. Because the first attack's normally the uh, passive, and that was only a normal. He still only stunned the uh, crane hermit. Nice. Well, at least we didn't get supered on Quillen. <laughs> turtle. Uh, who was it supered immediately? It was uh, Chaozu, right? Actually, yeah, so we're fine then, because we kill. Kill Chaozu, uh, Crane Hermit is uh, stunned. TN's not attacking again in slot 3, is he? So, I think that comes in clutch. Oh no, he is attacking once, but he didn't super. Because, yeah, he could have supered there and that would have been GG. But, now we are all good. Because if you're stunned and TN's attacking first, there's no way TN can kill um, Goku here. So, do this. I should have just got him to attack TN, but it's fine. Do that. And then Roshi can't super. Awkward. Don't think it matters though, because uh, Int Goku here with the full uh, 24 key. Absolutely going to take out TN. I should have just attacked TN because the AoE from Triku will take out the Grain Hermit regardless. But 13.7 mil. I mean, not bad for 55%, uh, eh? Uh, we take that, the support from Roshi, and then yeah, there's the KO to take out TN. So, Turtle School, Super Battle Road, not particularly difficult. I mean, OG Super Battle Road, like I say, nowhere near the difficulty level of Extreme Super Battle Road these days. But, you know, that's another one done. Another Super Battle Road stage added to the collection. Make sure you guys check out the rest of the playlist if you haven't seen it. 
you know i mentioned it earlier when doing the intro while we were going through the um savior super battle road thing the uh the super battle road king wars are long over long over and won i should say because remember this playlist uh the only playlist on youtube where you can find every single super battle road stage beaten with no items and no app resets and uh, none of that we don't do that here so uh yeah there you go turtle school super battle road beaten with no items uh, the Saviors one is going to be the fun one. That takes me back to the days when these stages were actually really hard and took me like... I remember doing hundreds of attempts to do like movie bosses before STR Cooler came out on Global, having the double Turles leads. But yeah, Super Battle Road, definitely not as difficult as it once was uh, back in the day. But let me know what you guys think uh, down below in the comments section. What team build did you guys use? Did Whether you used items or not, just let me know down below. And uh, yeah, 75 stages of normal Super Battle Road are done. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.